Okay, today's video, we're gonna talk about quality scores on Google Ads and what exactly is a good quality score through and with your Google Ads that you're running today on your account or soon to be running on your account. This is a bit of a, it depends type of question to answer, which I hate that response to questions more than anybody else, trust me. But I could give you a pretty damn good response in terms of what to expect your quality score to be, to actually make money with your ads, where the cutoff is, where you're basically not gonna make money anymore, and we're gonna make a ton of money, a pile of money, if you can get the quality score to a certain range. So, with that said, there's a certain way that I set up my ads as well to be able to achieve a certain quality score. I'm gonna explain the way that I set it up and the pros and cons of setting it up this way. With the pros mainly being, you'll make tons more money long term, but short term, you're gonna kinda of eat it a little bit. So, which on the flip side, if you want short term money, you can make money quicker, but the long term money isn't gonna be as good. And in terms of how you set up your ads, to get the quality scores in the range of being good. So I'll go through all this so you can walk away from this video with the exact information you need about quality scores, what you need to make money, what, and what doesn't make money. Google's quality score system used to be a lot more accurate than it is right now currently in 2023 and beyond. Used to be your default quality score was about seven when you started up your ads. It didn't assume that your ads are shitty before you even start, which I understand Google's system completely why they're doing it. And I, because what I see, you know, being in the industry and different people in and out of markets, uh, you know, running ads on Google ads for various markets, 80% of people who try Google ads are gonna quit within the first year, basically. The reason for that is, is because they want to set up their ads in 15 minutes and then be done and, oh, it's not working already, it doesn't work, I quit. Like little babies, basically. Which is good for us because when people think that it either has to work right away or it doesn't work, it leaves all the money for our clients and can guarantee results on clients' accounts easier, which is what we do here at our agency. Because ultimately, you know, we have less competition. The name of the game is you are going to wait and as long as your account is improving in terms of the ROI, you're eventually gonna get the goal of the you know ROI you want from your campaigns. It just may take a few months to get to break even with the cost of running your ads and the cost of delivering that product or service or what have you. And then it'll get more and more profitable from then on. But most people want to turn it on like it's a light switch. I want it to work right away. And if it doesn't work, I do I'm done. And that, is where your 80% of people that quit mostly comes from. So as it ties into quality score, Google assumes that you're gonna be one of those quitters when you start, so they're gonna way penalize you with a lower quality score, which will justify them charging you a lot more money per click, which is good again if you once you're into it already because any new guys that try to get in they're going to be paying two three four times as much money as you're paying once you've already been doing it for six twelve twenty eight uh six twelve eighteen twenty four months and proven to the algorithm that you're not your ads are not like all everybody else's your landing pages aren't like everybody else's and that you shouldn't be charged what the newbies are being charged when they get right into the system for the first time so your average quality score starting out is more like a five now versus a seven. Now that all said, also a five quality score used to be like you were doing a pretty bad job and you know should be charged a quite a bit of money. What I can tell you about a five quality score is, is we've got lots and lots of keywords that we're running for clients with a five quality score where we're banking off of those keywords still. Make it $10,000 a month or more in profit from a single keyword that just gets searched a whole ton in that individual market and has 75% impression share to match. So impression share, if you don't know what that is, it's the number of time your, times your ad is eligible to show out of 100 for that keyword. So if you're targeting red shoes, 
if you target red shoes, there's no guarantee your ad will show up for red shoes. There's four ads at the top of Google, and there's 10 people generally cycling in and out of those top four spots. And Google's trying to measure out of all the 10 people whose ad gets the highest click through rate, whose after the click ad is going to drive a visit that will get a high conversion rate because the click through rate, the conversion rate indicates to Google how good of a job you're doing giving the users that are searching for that keyword and what they want so that people want to come back to Google and click on an ad in the future again. They only gave the ad space to the people with the most money. People would eventually get frustrated with ads in general, stop clicking on them, and then Google's market share and just available people clicking ads long term would just go down. It would tank. So they're setting up their system for the people who really try and really want to do a good job and are in the top 20% of click-through rates and conversion rates to excel and then to uh, overcharge the people aren't, that are on the bottom of the pile or even just in the bottom 80% that are coming in on those two things and make it so they can't afford the ads and just push them out naturally. And then, so with that, they don't have to like block you. They just charge you so much you're not going to make money anymore. So that's why quality scores is, is technically important because quality score is tied to those two things, click-through rate, landing page. They call it experience, but really it comes down to did they get what they wanted? Did they convert into a lead or a sale? or not. So as it <laughs> got off track a little bit here and explaining what or went into two more more information for you that I that I needed to share, but impression share is what percentage of the time for a keyword that you'll show up, 50, 100% of the time, whatever it is, and that's all based upon how much Google wants to promote you for that keyword given you doing a good job on the click through rate and the conversion rate side of the and those two things that they grade everybody on so if they're showing you almost a hundred percent of the time they know that your ads doing better than most of the other ads that are that want to run for that same keyword so when we got a five quality score and we're making 10 grand a month in profit off of a keyword on a very high volume keyword and you still and also getting 75 percent impression share that should tell you something about how much the quality score actually matters at the end of the day and how much more strict the quality score system has gotten at least starting out. Because when you start out, your quality score is gonna average more like a five versus a seven. And before Google figures out how real, how good your ads are doing, as compared to all the other ads that want to advertise for that same keyword and how good your landing page is doing versus all the other people that are advertising for those same keywords, you're going to have a five quality score and uh, you're going to be you know, making a lot of money on a keyword until they eventually really, really know that, that how much that keyword performs versus the other people that are advertising on that same keyword. So we'll start out with a five quality score and start making a bunch of money right away, even though we have a five quality score and we're paying more per click than other people because our conversion rates on our traffic that we're getting from that keyword is pretty high and it it over you know it compensates for a, a higher cost per click by having a five quality score instead of a seven or eight nine or ten quality score so just because in other words you have a five quality score starting out doesn't mean you're not going to be able to make money and if you stick with it long enough google will eventually get enough data behind that keyword and see you have a good click-through rate and a good landing page conversion rate, assuming you have the, you know, the right ad, the right landing page to send them to, then you know, you'll get an even better return because you'll pay a little bit less uh, per click for the same type of clicks that you're getting from that keyword. So I drew a little chart to kind of explain how this works. Google's system is far more harsh than it used to be with the quality score system until you have enough, significant enough data for them to definitively know that your ads, that the time that you spent to set up a really good ad for that keyword and a really good landing page for that keyword to go to, in terms of after clicking on the ad, to give you the benefit of the doubt and give you that seven, eight, nine, ten quality score that you normally have to already have proven how good your click-through rate and your landing page conversion rate is for that particular keyword starts out at five if you want seven eight nine ten you got to have at least a thousand to three thousand clicks on that particular keyword 
So uh, you'll start out at an average of five, basically, which you're paying mostly the full price for what Google charges people for clicks on that keyword at, or towards the higher end. So if, if Google's quality score system starts at a one and, and the best is a 10, right? If you go to Google Keyword Tool and you type in the keyword that you're wondering about, you'll actually see two numbers given to you as to the estimated cost per click, or cost per, that you'll pay per click for that keyword. They'll say top of page uh, high range bid and top of page low range bid. If you get a 10 out of 10 quality score for that keyword, you'll pay basically the top of page bid low range. And that's gonna come from having the top 10% of click-through rates as compared to the other 10 people cycling in and out for that keyword. And also having the top 10% of conversion rates or people cycling in and out of those ad spots for that keyword as well. If you on the other end of this, you get a one quality score, you basically won't even show up anymore. They don't, it, they don't even, so there is a point where they aren't gonna just try to charge you so much that you just quit or give up. They'll actually just stop showing your ad. If you get at least a three quality score, you'll show up, not nearly as much as you'd want, but you'll still st show up some, and you'll pay per click what it shows is the top of the page bid for the high range on the Google Keyword Tool, if you will. So in other words, on the Google Keyword Tool, what it says that you'll pay on the low end and the high end, the high end will be, if you get a quality score of three, you'll be on that high end of what the estimates per click is there. If you get a 10, you'll be on the low range of what it says your cost per click will be. And what you'll ultimately find out is then the low versus the high range, you're talking about a 4x difference in cost per click. You could be paying eight bucks per click, in other words, or 30 bucks per click, based upon where you're at between this three to 10 quality score range, okay? So that's why it's so important. If you're gonna come to do Google Ads, you come heavy and you don't half-ass what you're doing. You try to have unique keywords, or excuse me, unique ads for every keyword. And you research what it is that would move people the most to click on your ad first if they see four ads at the top of Google, what's gonna actually get them to click your ad first? And then furthermore, in terms of where you're sending them, making sure what they see on the ad is basically what they get on the landing page. Too many people skip this because they don't want to spend the time and effort to do this. If they're looking for tree stump removal, you don't send them to a tree service uh, landing page. You send them to a stump removal landing page. This is simple stuff that you know as a consumer you would want to see if, after clicking on an ad, but business owners for some reason think, ah, I don't care, and they'll get what they get. And then you know your results are going to match that. If you want to be in the t and you want to pay four times as much for the same exact clicks, do it the half-ass way where you use one ad for 15 different keywords and send them all to your homepage and see what happens. You'll get the high range every single time doing that kind of stuff, basically speaking. Of course, your competition, if they're doing it horribly, you might not get where you have a three quality score, but you might have a five, but you get the general point. Even if you don't think you, by the way, have a lot of competition, it's worth doing it the way that I talk about or just talked about where you have unique uh, ads for every keyword and unique landing pages for every keyword because you'll still make twice as much money for the same amount of available, you know, why wouldn't you want your ROI to be double what it, what, you know, it could be by not having the, you know, have uh, making a good uh, experience, uh, providing a good user experience for your users. And then on top of that, you'll get more clicks with a higher quality score because you'll have a higher impression share. You'll naturally have a higher click-through rate on your ad because you have unique ads for every keyword, which will double your click-through rate and double the amount of market share you can get coming through Google, all in itself. And then you'll have a higher conversion rate on your landing page, which gets you more people out of the total that are searching on Google to actually do business with you itself. So there's multiple ways the higher quality scores are gonna make you more money. Your ROI will be double, and but on top of the ROI being double, going from a, um, you know, even a five quality score to a 10 quality score, 
The amount of additional sales that you're going to make is you're going to make an additional three times as many sales just from the increase in click-through rates, increasing conversion rates. So you're, when you really add it all up, you're going to make five to ten times as much money being able to even go from a five quality score to a ten. It really matters that much. So you can get by and make money with the five quality score, at least at first until Google recognizes your ads are good. But your real goal should be to get to 10 by outdoing every competition that you have or every competitor that you have that shows up for the keywords that you're bidding on. Go ahead and look at their ads. Search for your keywords. Figure out what is your ad, does it, is it obvious that's the ad to click on when you search for you know, your keywords or not? Look at their landing pages. Does your landing page look like it's obvious that it's the one you would do business with? So as long as you have at least a three quality score, that keyword can technically be profitable up front until you get the first 1,000 to 3,000 keywords because Google doesn't know yet that your stuff is very good. So you have to be patient and wait for a certain amount of clicks before you really get the payoff and see the you know 10 quality score that you can ultimately get if you just go through the actions I just shared with you. You start out with essentially two strikes against you as an advertiser with no data. And even if you have a custom ad and landing page like I told you you should do on all your campaigns that you're setting up, you'll still you and as well as ourselves will still routinely get only a like a 5 to 7 quality score on those keywords starting out because Google doesn't know what they don't know and they treat you as if you're gonna be like the rest of the chumps that come to the plate with shitty ads that are one ad per 50 keywords and a sh you know sending them to the home page or sending them to a really crappy landing page that wasn't made by a landing page expert who doesn't know their ass from their hole from a hole in the wall in terms of setting things up to get a conversion rate that's high on a landing page that you need to get a 10 quality score. So now setting up your campaign so that you have a unique ad and a unique landing page for each keyword that you're targeting and then furthermore by the way not just targeting 10 or 20 keywords but like 500 keywords so that you can each ad the user sees will tightly tightly match what they're searching for. So if they're looking for a cheap stump grind, grinding company, they see an ad with cheap stump grinding company, and then furthermore, a page that you're taking them to that says cheap stump grinding company, which, which makes it stupidly simple to decide to do business with you at that point. That's called the SKAG or SKAG model. And that's what we use for every single campaign because it crushes it. And it's the, the most true, tried and true way to be in that top 10% of click-through rates in your market that you're in and the conversion rates in your market that you're in. Because the competition, frankly, isn't gonna wanna do it. That's why I can definitively say if you do this, you can get a 10 quality score because nobody else in your market is doing it and it's what your, comp, uh, your customer ultimately wants to see from you or from somebody in the ad space and you're gonna be the only one delivering it. But doing the Skag model, as I described, the drawback of it is that you have a lot of keywords and if every keyword needs a thousand uh, clicks on it at least to recognize that your click-through rates are at the top of the pack and your landing page conversion rates are at the top of the pack, you're going to be sitting at a five quality score as an average on all your keywords for quite a long time of running your account already. With the upside being when they eventually do get enough keywords or enough clicks on, on you know, the main keywords that get searched the most, you're gonna have the 10 quality score, you're gonna make five to 10 times as much money. Short term though, you're gonna be paying more for a click, more for a conversion, than somebody who does it the lazy way and tries to have you know, five or 10 keywords and one ad for five or 10 keywords to cover the same 500 different ways that I'm targeting keywords in a, in a market that I'm in so that the 500 different ways that people are searching for that that, strong, uh, that tree service, I'm targeting them all individually so I can have unique ads set up for each one of them and unique landing pages set up for the, each one of them. The guy doing it the lazy way is gonna beat my campaigns for the first three to six months. But 
I want the extra five to 10 times as much profit I'm gonna make doing the Skag model once we're past the first six months, just know, you know there's, there's pros and cons to doing it. So you have to ask yourself, do you want quicker money, but not as much long-term, or way more money long-term, but it's gonna run less efficiently up front for the first few months, basically. And, um, you know, basically if you're in a, uh, in a situation where either you make money quickly or you run out of money, well then what I would do is do the lazy way, as I mentioned, doing five or 10 keywords, one ad, use that to make money and then work on this Skag model to replace it. I usually run a Skag campaign side by side with an old campaign like that with the lazy approach. And then once the new campaign eventually gets enough traction, then I'll shut off the old campaign. But you could do that as a way to transition to the more, you know, the thing, the, the skag model that'll get you a lot more overall profit long term while not having to sacrifice waiting forever to get the initial return that you want up front. But if you're not like if you're in a position where you're you're actually pretty profitable already as a company, just go directly to the skag model because you doing the easy approach and then switching over, it's just gonna delay getting to where the real money is, so to say. So anyway, in summary on this video, what's a good quality score? A good quality score certainly is a 10, it's achievable. You just have to be able to set up your campaigns using the Skag model with unique ads for every keyword, targeting not just a few keywords, but like every main variant of a way customers can find you on Google and then having unique landing pages for them to go to. If you do that, you can get a 10 quality score. But until you get 1,000 to 3,000 clicks on an individual keyword or from an individual keyword, you're probably gonna be more like a five quality score, which you're gonna end up paying more per click than you, sh that you deserve, we'll say, until you get that first 1,000 to 3,000 clicks on that particular keyword, given Google has, is more harsh on people and they assume the worst of you before you prove them otherwise inside your account. And certainly, if you are at a quality score of one to three, you're probably not even gonna make money on the keyword. So on the flip side, you can make a ton of money doing a 10, we're talking five to 10 times as much money, having all your keywords being a 10 versus a simple five. If you're in the one to three range, you definitely need to change up what you're doing because what you're doing is very likely not to be profitable for you at the end of the day. You won't be shown very much and the ROI will be terrible, so to say. And then you should go to the Skag model that we always use because that's predict that'll be a predictable way for you to get a close to a 10, if not a 10 quality score on all your keywords because you are better than all your competition in terms of click through rates and conversion rates on your campaign for your set keywords. So, um, and being at a 10, you're paying four times less per click than being at a three in terms of a quality score. So it may, it, 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 you know, as matching up to the Google keyword tool, you can see for yourself for your keywords, how much more you're gonna pay at a three, which will be at the high range of the cost per click estimates versus the low range if you were a 10, if you're, at, if you're at the uh, 10 quality score for that same keyword, you're gonna be paying what the low range estimate for that keyword actually is. So there's tremendous difference. And therefore, that's why you're making 10 times as much money being at an average of you know, 10 quality score versus even a five. Uh, but certainly, yeah, it's five to 10 times more profitable to be at a 10 overall than a five on average in the account. Whereas if you went from a three to a 10, you're talking about 10, 20 times as much pro as profitable. So uh, that's, and if you're below a three, you basically won't show up at all as far as uh, what we found for the most part. You know, you'll get the warning, sorry, quality score is too low. The key keyword isn't even just gonna show anymore. And uh, that's to, you know, make sure that users don't get the, mi there's a minimum level. What the, you know, experience, what they'll see if they're going to see any ads at all. That Google would actually rather show no ads than show a really shitty ad that is gonna give the user a bad experience. That's why if you're not at least a three, your ad is just basically stop showing altogether. So, 
Good quality score is actually a 10. A little bit tough to do, but if you go through the actions I told you, you should be able to get near it in your account as a whole. And basically, once you start down the path of doing the right things to get the 10 quality score, any new ads and new keywords you put in your account will actually start out with a little higher quality score than you had before, because Google looks at your past history on their click-through rates and your conversion rates on other campaigns and other keywords to try to guess what your quality score is going to be on new keywords. That does actually happen as well. So you could start out on the path of, you know, making a lot of money, or you could start out on the path, you know, the lazy approach, and then they're just going to assume you're like everybody else once you start doing it the lazy way. Even though, like I said, it can help you make some money quicker if you only have like a few hundred bucks to get your ads to work, or you're just simply broke and you're kind of forced into doing it the lazy way to get your stuff up and actually off the ground. You can live to fight another day. So with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was educational for you. If you think so, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like and consider subscribing as I have a lot of other content on this channel on how to make money with ads on Google, on Bing, on Facebook. And it's coming from somebody who's managing dozens and dozens of ad accounts on an ongoing basis for our clients at my firm, doing the strategy for those clients directly. Other YouTubers don't manage an ad firm and manage clients directly like I do on the scale I do or that you know people manage a couple campaigns. The quality of information you're getting as a result of that is super, super high. It's the best information you're going to basically be able to find on YouTube on practical advice on how to make money with online ads. And I give you all the information that we use to guarantee results for our clients given that's what we do here at our firm. If you like the channel, I also got a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. You can also find other information for myself, my writing there. If you like the channel, you'll also like the blog. Beyond that, if you have any questions about anything I covered today or any other PPC related questions, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. As a last couple notes before I let you go and wrap this video up. I just want to let you know as well, we have turnkey campaign templates that work for a number of different markets. If you're looking for a great money-making opportunity, you can use one of our pre-built campaign templates that get incredible results in a number of different markets. In your account, copy paste the results into your account and get a predictable result that we could let you know what you're going to get with that account up front. We have campaigns in the e-commerce space, local services, national services, that'll get you a predetermined result by using the campaign template that we used for years and built up for years to get a certain result in that market. So if you're not in direct competition with the client that we work with or worked with in the past, geographically, you could use the same results there, you know, use the same campaigns that they're using and getting similar results for yourself. Um, so inquire if you're interested in that. Also, we have obviously a PPC management service here, if you, and if you weren't aware of that, what we do is we guarantee you a certain amount of sales results up front on your campaigns, meaning you're at 5,000 a month in sales. We'll estimate how much more sales we can get for you on top of that before taking any fees. And that with the understanding that we're developing a long-term relationship together, once we get you off the ground and get you some more sales up front, Sales we bring you will offset the cost of what we charge directly, so there's really no fees at the end of the day with our service. But we don't work with just any client. We want to be able to work with something that has a lot of potential, but I'd like to look at what you have available as an opportunity to see if it's right. There's a, it's a right fit. Basically, if you have everything else right and all you need is the best advertising person working on it, you've got everything that you'll need right here at our agency. Having worked in the last 15 years on just how to be an expert at online advertising. So, with that said, I'd like to hear from you. I'll, but I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.